Hello, uh, my name is Ethan Bollinger. I'm a senior accountant here at Marshall Jones. Being CPAs, we've worked with all kinds of businesses in all kinds of industries. We have over 30 years in business, and uh, in the words of a recent commercial you may have seen, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. So here are some of the top tips that we have for you uh, that many small businesses could benefit from. Our first tip for you is going to be that you need to open a separate bank account for your business expenses and your personal expenses. Many small business owners start their businesses off with their own personal bank account. And it's fairly common for these businesses to continue using their bank account and credit cards as the company continues to grow. But this is a mistake. Uh, mixing personal and business accounts will cause headaches down the road. Opening a separate business account is the way to go. Unless you're a sole proprietorship, your business is going to have to file a separate tax return and weeding through a bank account with both business and personal expenses at tax time, that's a burden that you don't want to bear. Not only that, but having a separate business account will help greatly should you come under scrutiny from the IRS. There are also additional perks to having a business bank account, such as multiple account signers, a more professional look for your company, and building business banking relationships. The bottom line is, that businesses should open a business bank account as soon as they receive their EIN from the IRS. Our second tip for you today is that you should consider expediting your accounts payable process with a service such as uh, Bill.com. Many small businesses have much room for improvement when it comes to their accounts payable processes. Keeping paper bills and printing and mailing checks, it's time consuming and quite frankly, it's inefficient. Services such as Bill.com allow for what they call AP automation. Bill.com uses technology and digital processes to streamline the accounts payable process. Their technology makes AP much faster, more productive, less costly, and it results in happier vendors. Bill.com is also fully integrated with QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop, so you can also cut down on the time you spend entering bills and payment information. If accounts payable is a pain point for your company, you should definitely consider checking out a service such as bill.com. Our third tip we have for you is to track expenses with a software such as Divi. When companies start growing, it can sometimes become difficult to manage expenses. Often there will be multiple people with company credit cards and that can sometimes result in dozens of expenses incurred each day. And receipt management is difficult because receipts get lost, they get accidentally thrown away, misplaced, they fade over time, or they're damaged in other ways. Divi is a great solution for many small businesses. With Divi, you can control how much money your employees have access to. For example, let's say an employee needs to go pick up lunch for a work meeting. You can Divi the employee $100 or so to his Divi credit card so he's limited in what he can spend. When he makes a purchase, he's required by the Divi app to take a picture of the receipt and upload it to the app, eliminating the need for physical receipt copies. Divi is great because it not only helps with receipt management, but it also saves time from having to process manual expense reports and provides an excellent way to keep your expenses under budget. Our fourth tip for you is to use your financials to make business decisions. Too many business owners fall into the trap of thinking that your books are just to help during tax time, and they never look at their financials throughout the year. Financials provide so much useful information that is often overlooked. For instance, business owners should be familiar with a profit and loss statement, but how deep do they dive into analyzing their P&L? There are all kinds of different ways of analyzing and identifying trends on a P&L. You could compare the current month to last month and see the percentage difference. You could compare this year to last year. You could compare your P&L to your budget. How about checking your sales? Have they gone up? Have they gone down? Why or why not? There, and then there are all kinds of useful information you can gain from ratios. From ratios such as your current ratio, receivable turnover ratio, return on assets, debt to equity ratio, and so on. There really is a lot more than that meets the eye when it comes to uh, financial statements. When making business decisions, 
don't go solely based on your gut instinct. Make sure to review your financial statements and let the numbers drive your decisions. And our final tip here today that uh, we have for small businesses is to be proactive about 1099s. January 31st sneaks up on business owners every year and with it comes the deadline for issuing 1099s. In a perfect world, this is going to be a pain-free process, but all too often business owners are scrambling to get better information at the last second. This can all be avoided by being proactive. A 1099 form is a tax document that is used to report payments to independent contractors. In general, if a subcontractor is paid $600 or more in a given tax year for services they provided, a 1099 must be issued to that vendor. To help ease the process of issuing 1099s, it's best practice to send the vendor a W-9 to fill out as soon as it is established that you will be purchasing from that vendor. This way, you're going to have the vendor's tax identification number and address on file when it comes time to issue 1099s in January. Another way to be proactive with 1099s is to run a 1099 report quarterly. And this report will show you if you're missing any W-9s from vendors and it will help avoid hassle later down the road.